This episode of My Life on the Road has a little something for everybody. There's drama. People say you want drama. You want mystery. It's all here. You want us to see us get canceled flights, not sure how we get home stranded, suddenly meeting strangers and visiting famous grave sites. All of that is in this episode of My Life on the Road. And it begins right after this. This is going to be uh, one of the longest days in travel history. Why is the use of Wi-Fi? Make more civilian cars not allowed. We're not almost ready to go, so please take your seat. Fasten your seatbelt. Hands close your tray table. Carry on this and show our five hours and uh, eighteen minutes. Uh, we have nobody on the plane. Stephen is a, a little ahead of us. And, uh, yeah, and then we're off. This music is awful. Johnny and I are building a wall. It's going to be the biggest wall you've ever seen. Yeah. Because this piece of shit keeps coughing non-stop and I'm not getting tuberculosis. But he's, he, he's obviously uh, very ill. He's masked, but uh, he's very sick. And so, Chai and I have begun construction on the wall. <laughs> and we're going to continue until no one can... Uh, in our area. I'm watching Scream 6. Back in New York, Stephen. Oh, oh yeah, right. Back in New York. With a fistful of dollars. I spent uh, 25 years of my life living in New York City. When I come back, uh, even for a brief moment like this, I realize why I'm glad I, I'm no longer living here. Uh, there's some things about it that are off the charm. But for the most part, uh, I think I'm over the, uh, a lot of drama right now, Johnny. Johnny Monaco, Eric might miss his flight. And, but Matt, is, uh, he's on one of those scooters uh, trying to get here. Johnny and I taking full advantage of first class. Johnny, you're having to find our snacks. Beautiful lighting. And uh, here we are. Uh, we didn't all make the flight. Uh, most of us did. And uh, that's what happens when you tour, not everyone uh, makes it. But anyway, we're enjoying our first class accommodations on the way there. More shrimps. I will have the lobster, and my friend Mr. Monaco, he will have the steak. And ladies and gentlemen, the captain says we've got our initial setting to go. If you're using the Wi Fi, these nice people here, uh, in, we're in the airport in Ithaca. You guys know your ad songs? Give me a second here because I can almost sing it. Oh, I think Jesse you can do plays it. it. We've rat shirt. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. um, what's the big rat song? You must. Know. Well, I thought you were going to get it. No, okay, I am. This guy here, he wrote one of the big rat songs right there. Uh oh. -uh. These people are telling me their I'm knowledge of rat. They're telling me their knowledge round of rat music. Round and round. Hey, hey Dale. You're right. Nice to see you. You got it. Let's hear it. What comes around goes around. Do you know around and around? I'll tell you why. All right, good. Out on the streets. Sorry. See? Now you got to learn Back for More. Back for More? Yeah, he co-wrote that one. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, anyway, it was nice to meet you guys. You should come to Big Flats. When is it? Tomorrow. These guys know. I mean, we're here to pick up our my daughter's three friends from Oakland. Bring everybody to see I mean, I'm not ruling it out. Okay. Who else is going to be there? Uh, uh, Tom Kiefer from Cinderella. Do you know Cinderella? Do you know Cinderella? I Cinderella. Cinderella's good. You would listen to it. And then a thing called Vixen. That's rat merch. Rat merch? In our house. We have it. You do? Yeah. I what got do you my have? son a rat hoodie for Christmas. And he didn't want just the R-A-T-T. -T, he wanted the silhouette mm -hmm. of all the guys. So. Well, we got nice. That. Well, you can say hello to Stephen when he comes back. What is Stephen doing? He's giving out shirts for. Oh, wow, well, look at that! I think it's close to the number. He's, he's, Stephen's playing guess the number. He just crushed the other one's dreams. <laughs> look at that. He's a man of the people. And it says ran around. Oh, you want a picture? Yeah, where did mom go? Another girl. She needs a shirt too. And then mom gets a shirt. I've been eating this shirt. That's a lot. What I want is a picture. I want a picture and I want you to text it. Right away. Hold on, let me think of one first. I think it's rigged. 
<laughs> but anyway, it's very nice. Thank Look at Stan. You don't know what it means to me. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. He's, he's got you covered. He's a haberdasher on the side. I love it. Yes. Uh oh. <laughs> Just when I thought he was done. Look at that. You got a birthday. Look at that. And you got a box set for your birthday. Cool. Which, you by guys. the way, people can buy that box set. I am the happiest person at this year. Well, his birthday is July 3rd. I know. You, got that. you can buy that box at, that. at the link in the Thank description so below. Thank you so Look at that. See you. You get one? You guys all right? We're good. We're good. You're You're good? Good? No, but we can share. Wait a minute. <laughs> you can't go without one. <laughs> Come on. You got your box. <laughs> I got my box set. That's awesome. How am I going to explain to Christy that he came home with no merch? <laughs> all right, we flew all day. Stephen and Matt are going to go over here, and me and uh, uh, Senor Johnny Monaco. Would you mind if here. I sit in the front with you? Johnny, just, open it back there. I get kind of car sick. All right, and so here we are. It's in New York. We're on our way. Oh, there we go. Thank you. We're on our way. An hour in the car now, after nine hours in the sky. Johnny, they got specialty hot dogs. They got dilly dogs. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but they've a got them. Dog. I don't never heard of it, but life on the road. Back for more dilly dogs. I don't think so. I don't think so. After you. Maybe. This is a, this is a gas station. He said this was a restaurant. Wow, yogurt. Oh, this is great. I'm in. <laughs> oh, pizza looks good. Yeah, I don't know. The guy said he knew a place to stop. Oh, look who's here. The Fiji boys are back. You better make sure it's not Milburn. Johnny gets help. Just return it. Here it is. Johnny will return it. Oh, you got. Now we know how to do this. Dandy made for two. Food. You can order on here, Stephen. Look at this. They'll make you something. Johnny, do they have tasty cakes in Chicago? Is, no, but do they have it? This is a New York thing. Yeah. I grew up on tasty cakes. They're great. Thank you. This one's really good. Yeah. I've had them all. They're great. Tasty cakes. East Coast people watching know what I'm talking about. This is always nice to be. Uh, in New York, even though, as I said, I don't really know if this is New York, New York State, not New York City, but this is a, I didn't get the name of this place. But anyway, truck stop at one in the morning, and then we'll go back to the courtyard by Marriott, which is three miles from here. And an early day of sound check tomorrow. Vixen, uh, Tom Kiefer of Cinderella and Stephen Piercy all at a place called Tags Summer Stage. Supposed to be massive. I know Rat played there before a really big venue. So, shall we check her doing a twist? Yeah, I don't know. They're doing a twist out here. This is called Dandy. Dandy. And uh, they've got you know, good food, it seems. I don't know. Anyway, you're going to want to stay tuned because this trip is just getting started. Johnny, we might have a little time in the morning. Uh, for live bait, you want to go fishing? I am the live bait. You fish for that Philly cheese steak. All right, here we are. Are we done? Yeah, that's it. We're all now. We're going back to uh, the courtyard by Marriott. Everybody's here, right, Johnny? Everybody's here. Look at all this. This is Zaps chips. These are from New Orleans. Regular flavor. That sounds boring. Hotter than hot jalapeno voodoo. This is the best one. Voodoo chips. I've had the spicy Cajun. Yeah. Anyway, tomorrow. Tomorrow, Johnny and I are going to have a Zaps taste off. What happened, Johnny? No rooms? Here we are. I'm in 211. There's someone sleeping. Johnny's in 212. We told him that we like to be closer. What in the hell? <laughs> I was at the front. What a tarnation. You are in front. Always. Wow, the bed is really weird, Johnny. What? It's facing a weird direction. I've had this hotel once like this. Your bed is this way. 
I don't know what you're going to think of that. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Your view is nothing, but come look at your bed. This is an odd, odd way to sleep. Normally you sleep this way. And the TV's over here. You have to watch the TV at an angle. I mean, I'm assuming it comes out. Yeah, you have to do this. Should be over there. Yeah, it should be facing this way. Let's move it. It's a strange, all right. Well. <laughs> strange way to sleep. Well, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Tony. What? I mean, I mean, I don't know if you're gonna like this bed. Oh. Well, it's pretty good. It's actually pretty firm. I don't like firm. No, but it's it's a firm soft. Oh. It feels pretty good. Why do they always do this to me? I think you're going to like this one, Charlie. I think this is the one. It's going to get dark. Technically, if you're turning your head this way, though, you're, it should be darker than if you were to go towards the Oh, window. right at the window, yeah. We're fucked. You want, you want to see my room? Yeah, gosh. <laughs> you came this far. I hope my bed is not doing that. But I mean, I assume they all do that. <laughs> No, my bed's ridiculous too. Thank you. Yeah. Same bullshit. This is gonna be weird. I'm, I'm assuming I have a view of the uh, the lake. Yeah, pitch black. Is that a garbage? I don't know. It's like wild animals. Wow, this is way better. You got total darkness back here. Yeah. In front of the fucking light. Yeah, that does seem rough. Uh, oh. Yeah. I hate to ask you this, but can you put me on the other side? <laughs> I, uh, I used to not turn the TV on in the hotel room. I just didn't care. This is the bed that's facing the odd direction and the TV. It reminds me of a hospital room in here uh, with the TV hanging off the wall like that. But so... Uh, I enjoy watching this Martin Lawrence show. It reminds me of the old sitcoms like uh, uh, Sanford and Son or Good Times. And uh, But I, I tell you, there's some really funny episodes. There's John Witherspoon, uh, the late John Witherspoon of the Wayans Brothers and the Friday movies. Anyway, uh, I decided that uh, I started staying in hotels and I go, well, I put on the old BET network, Black Entertainment Television, and it's always on. There's never been a time that I turned this channel on and didn't see this. So, anyway, I thought you should know. It's now uh, three in the morning. It'd be midnight in Vegas, three in the morning here. And uh, I gotta get some rest before the busy day tomorrow. So I hope you all have a nice night and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye. Uh, Matt and I are walking to the mall. This is horse heads, Matt. Did you know that? We're gonna get a Burlington. <laughs> it, it looks it's like so cold out. It looks like this place has been out of business. With ninety-five percent humidity, and mm -hmm. this is like the dawn of the dead. Ninety degrees. Uh, uh, more. But anyway, Horseheads, New York. We're on our way to uh, uh, the hot topic. <laughs> All right. We are in the Fye. Fye. You can't find it. But look at this. First Ramones record on vinyl. Obviously a reprint, but. Did you ever think you'd come to the local FYE and get a, uh, you get the weekend and the Ramones, same place, or Godzilla vs. Kong? Wow, look at the prices of some of these records. Taylor, Taylor Swift, fifty dollars for this, sixty ninety nine. Sixty. But feel that that's eight hundred records. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe that there's still CDs and DVDs, Blu-rays. Blu Blu-rays. Was this the alternative to Blu-ray? It was. Laserdisc? No. It was Blu-ray and then uh, Sony owned... Oh, we're looking at Funko Pops while we're here. Elvis and the Pharaoh suit. That's a good one. Devo. Mariah Carey, Janis Joplin. Flavor Flav. Uh, Papa Emer Emeritus from Ghost. I have that one. Bon Scott. I've got the Alice Cooper one. But uh, look at all this stuff. Matt and I can't understand... Uh, who's listening to all these records? Uh, here's the R section. Let's see if they have rough cut. If they have rap. Yeah, oh, that's a good point. Yeah. 
are. They have Bonnie Raitt. They have Rainbow. If you have Rainbow, you think you'd have Rat, right? Yeah, Here's the Ramones. They don't. Maybe they sold out of Rat because it's a big show. They don't even have a, uh, wow. a slot for it here. No, they, yeah, they didn't even have a sign. Mm. Matt and I are in the market for knives this and is the samurai Green, swords. Yeah, right. I mean, like if you were serious, it's crazy. Uh, Matt, it says clearly, ask for assistance before touching the lightsabers. Yeah, these are nice. These stores are gigantic, by the way. This is a giant store with empty space. How do they stay in business? Look at the app. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Beautiful place, but if you're into that, I don't know. Thinking about taking that home? Hard plastic. Yeah. It's nice. Not very sharp. Yeah. It's on sale. $225. Wow. Could be yours. But like this? Who knew? Uh, this mall is massive. Yeah. And these stores, it's, incra it's crazy how big they are and how bad they utilize space. But there is nobody here. It's Saturday morning. And there was three sword, two sword stores. Yeah. And <laughs> two, an archery store. Two sword stores and an archery store. And the, the inventory on swords and the lightsaber shop. <laughs> But, I mean, who would have thought here in Horseheads, New York? Uh, did you know that's where we are? Uh, I, yeah, I think I did. I, first, I thought we were going to Big Flats, but now right. I, I realized we were Big Horsehead, yeah. And this is the Arnett Mall? Oh, you, no, you did I, more research I, 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 than I, I, me. I, I can't yeah, the Arnett Mall. Well, the name. I heard that malls are a dying thing, that out, the outdoor malls are in now, like shopping yeah, areas. That's right, yeah. With apartments stacked. Right. This is probably the end of a thing, but I mean, I don't know how anyone's making any money here today. There's not a lot of people here. No. It's a, it's a Saturday? Matt, you want to play a little pickleball? Apparently pickleball is open. The New York Sports and Fitness. They got a tennis court in the middle of the mall. This is not the, not where it's the tennis court in the mall. This is the New York uh, Athletic Commission. There's the Great Escape Store. Uh, novelty shops. Here. A lot of novelties, but I don't see anyone who's all that novel about it. No. This is going to be like There's Magic the in Gathering any, and stuff. Nobody goes in these stores. It's just a guy who works here. Yeah. Comic book nerd. And the sword store guy was very helpful. He was great. He told us we could carry a knife on them. I don't believe it. I didn't believe him. Or a sword. I didn't believe him. This business is gigantic, dude. All three rooms on the end. What do you think they were doing in there? I think it was for the mentally challenged. It, it seemed like it was maybe model building or like card games maybe, but there's a bunch of people sitting there, older people I will point out, who didn't, who looked at us like we just uh, invaded Earth. Yeah. And, they were uh, in there building things though. Unless it was a meeting of some sort. And then of course the rides. This is the fair, <clears throat> the big flats fair. Horse heads, excuse me. Lights still work. And then there's, a cook there's cookies down there. This is a giant waste of space. <laughs> Matt just pointed out that we're not going to find any designer stores like, like Gucci. No. You're a long way from Burbank. <laughs> That's true. They do have the tennis court, though. Yeah. But uh, it, this mall is gigantic, and the store is giant. I'm guessing people are pretty fit. They, eat, they play tennis, and they go across here and get some Gucci ice cream. Who's fit? <laughs> But, uh, uh, okay, well, this is this the way we didn't go? But it's still, it goes on for miles. There's Hershey's ice cream. I don't think that's the trademark. And uh, here we go. You know, uh, Matt, I say that most people just stay in the hotel room and never leave. You were up to venture out yes. and see the sights. And this is sights you'll remember. It's, yeah, I'll never forget. Because even Willoughby might not have been as interesting. No, this is how Horsehead outdoes Willoughby, for sure. <laughs> Never thought I'd say those words. Well, anyway, here we're going to look around some more. Axe throwing. And some so kind of shooting. Archery. There's archery here. Archery. You know, if, you're not, if you don't like archery, you can throw an axe. It looks like it's out of business. There's some kind of shooting, I think, too. Maybe air guns or something? Wow. Doesn't, doesn't, it doesn't seem like it's in business, though. It's, fu it's funny that you ask about how many murders you think occur here. The guy who's putting on the show, the promoter, he also has a, uh, a funeral home. He's a funeral home director. And uh, the guy driving us told us that sometimes there's as many as six stiffs in there at a time. Wow, you should ask him. Yeah. And if, he's, if he sees a lot of dead people, then he's uh, obviously a lot of dead people. 
that people have been murdered or stabbed or axed to death or sorted He said to death. that they, uh, mm. if someone donates like their skin to, to science, that they just cut them right open in there. In, uh, yeah, and, I mean, who the hell knows? I don't know if I should be sharing this or not, but, uh, but I don't want to get, I don't want to go there. But anyway, yeah. six, who would think there'd be six people dead? You don't want to die here. You don't want to die You don't want to die in horse heads. Your no. skin will be donated. Yeah. The store looks like it's been out of business for 30 years, so. Oh, maybe not. How much is this Ibanez guitar? Get it for Johnny. It's a little pointy. He likes that. $179.99. Wow. There's a Yamaha Pacific. I, I played I mean, with this. This is quite elaborate. Three. This is like a little mini guitar center here. Yeah, you know, this is this is the closest thing you're going to get to a guitar center. This is uh, Robert M. Sides, obviously. That's nuts. Monday through Friday, 11 to 6. He doesn't work weekends. Robert's got other things to do. We have yet to find the food court. Oh, yeah. There is a there's, there's massage. Your new, there's a good like, yeah. all base. Oh yeah, look at that. They must have some kind of deal with Ibanez and Yamaha. Yamaha, they got Roland. You should move here. Wow, you should move here and open the studio. Yeah. Horsehead like Studios. I mean, they must have some kind of business and they couldn't afford to stay open. That's Planet Fitness, and it is jumping right now. It's like, this is the most people Man, I found the food court yeah, right here. <laughs> Special today, strawberry banana. And then you got to get a, like a toy. Yeah, well, collectibles. <laughs> I asked, asked a guy if he was getting a serpent in this aquarium in a tattoo shop while he's doing surgery on somebody there. Mm -hmm. And he is getting an octopus instead. Well, he, we saw the fish tank of sorts. And Matt wanted to see what kind of exotic animal he had. And he asked him, uh, you, uh, we thought you might have a serpent or something. He goes, oh, no, no, because I'm getting an octopus. And Matt didn't even hear him. No. And I thought, this is the strangest town. And as we exited, you, you said, where are we? This is, this is the... He's setting it up for the octopus. He has a, he's, he's waiting to set yeah, it up. There's probably an octopus waiting period. Yeah, you know. A couple of uh, coral in there. He had like some other like cardboard boxes in there or something. Yeah. So he's ready. He's ready to go. Maybe that was the filter or the pump system. I don't know. Maybe he's getting ready. Obviously, you know, the... octopus are very. Uh, they're very good escape artists. I had an octopus when I was a kid. You did? I did. And it escaped, and the cat got it. Wow! The cat got the octopus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I had it probably for like a month and a half, and you could hand how feed big it. This, how it big was is about. He was about. His head was probably about that a big. small. A small. And he had course. eight legs, and I put a little piece of brine shrimp. I hold it, mm -hmm. and he reach up and grab a shrimp. This was in San Diego, so yeah. I don't know where I got that. This is the uh, the happy ending place. Yeah, this is. We should have got a shift just working around here for the day. <laughs> GNC. Everybody's very health conscious. A little, oh, that's a boutique. That's a clothing boutique. This is like Burbank. I think that's art. I think this is art. I don't know if you know this, but it's relaxing and there's a box on it. Are their eyes open? You can't see their hands, but. What? Oh, yeah. Are you sure that's not the funeral room? Oh, she's getting her eyes worked on. Oh, oh. She's getting like a uh, uh, threading or something. There, there, was, there was an attendant. I'm not sure where we're at. You want to get your wife something from Zales? I, I just spent money on something for her. You did? It's oh, our okay. anniversary. Oh, wow. Yeah. What is it? We celebrated. It was, it was yesterday. Well, and I'm, you're here. Yeah. I'm on a plane. You're in a horse head. You should have brought her a beautiful horse head. I don't think she... Well, she might have found it entertaining now. We've discovered all these... She would, she would have bought a sword. Yeah. I could have got her sword for her anniversary. Yeah. No, I don't think she did. But that jewel, jewel sword was kind of cool. It had like a sack, sapphire. Yeah, you sacrifice a virgin with that. There is the courtyard by Marriott. The and there's the uh, captain right there. He's lounging around. I don't think he would see us in a million years, but who knows. Anyway, courtyard by Marriott, that's today's uh, fine establishment. Oh, yeah. I don't know. What do you mean they got swords? I'm moving a horse head. <laughs> Today is uh, Saturday, July 8th, 
and uh, we got up a little early and Matt and I walked over to uh, the mall. I forgot the name of it. Uh, it's here in uh, Horseheads, New York. That's where we are. And uh, playing the show tonight in Big Flats, New York. Anyway, Matt and I went, you'll see the footage of our mall trip here. It was a little different. Malls seem to be a, a dying thing. Uh, in the old days, everyone loved to go to indoor mall. Now it seems like these outdoor ones are more the thing. But we went to, a, they had multiple uh, uh, sword shops, but they had a lot of uh, odd other things. But they also had a lot of things for people like me, like uh, Hot Topic uh, you know, for the kids, uh, FYE and all those kind of things. So I can go look at all types of memorabilia. Anyway, uh, came back to the hotel, took care of some business, getting ready to go right now to sound check. It's 2.30 in the afternoon. The show is at 7.30. Uh, Steve in uh, uh, sound checking uh, soon, uh, Tom Kiefer before, and then uh, Vixen uh, sound checking after. So they go backwards in the lineup of order that they're playing, if you didn't know that. And uh, it should be a, a fun night and a uh, real quick trip. Long way to go as usual. One show, turn around and go back home right after. All right. All right. Dressing rooms are upstairs. See, Frontierland, right, Johnny? Frontierland. All right, two, two dress rooms. If there's any one of the band you don't like, uh, you can put them in the other one. Uh, not yet. Oh, here it is. It felt that way. Don't know what you got, so it's gone. We're looking for a catering somewhere back here. Oh, thank you. Never would have found that. That's an SI. Those are pretty cool. The R. You don't make the R ones like that. The R's are both the same. All right, let's see what we got. Jump. Here we are. All right, what do we got there? Tater tots. Tater tots, okay, that's good. Give me those tater tots. Pulled pork, thank you. Chicken. What is it? Yep, chicken speedies. Okay, chicken, chicken speedies. New York oh, delicacy. Looks good. And I think this is butter. Yep. And, and oh, sorry, big difference. <laughs> he was going to eat it straight, but now. <laughs> And then over here. No, 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 no. We have a lot of heart attacks around here. Uh, and then we have salad. Yeah. This good. Yeah, good thing we came on Italian. All right, uh, Tom Kiefer just finished his sound check. And now I'm heading out to the uh, merchandise palooza uh, to make sure that that's all ready. And then after that, uh, Stephen Piercy sound check. And then after that, uh, Vixen. All right, here we are at Merch, and you can see how professional Tom Kiefer is, and her thing is counted and ready to go. What's your name? Ari. Ari, okay, and Ari's uh, all set up, and but they're on tour, so they have more particular. And then here is the Stephen Piercy, and introduce yourself. Cadence. Cadence, that's easy to remember. <laughs> Cadence and Ari. Anyway, but here's here's our pack by Stephen personally, and uh, and are you guys excited for this big rock and roll concert? Absolutely. All right, that's good. It it seems like there's a lot of country here, so tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Tonight is rock night. But anyway, uh, Cadence is going to make this look as beautiful as that. Yeah, I went to the mall today, uh, uh, right yes. over here. I went to the Hot Topic. <laughs> I was the oldest person there. And FYE, we don't have a lot of those stores in Vegas. Anymore. There was really not many people in the mall, though. Yeah, yeah. no. Our mall is just... Yeah, well, I think that I'm hearing people don't like indoor malls anymore. They want, like, the outdoor pavilion malls. Is that right? Yeah. 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 All right, well, well, we'll, we'll make a note. All right, guys, thank you. Beautiful day here in Big Flats. Getting a little bit of the lay of the land, if you will. That looks like the exit. Not really sure. Maybe the entrance is over there. I don't know. And this is where you get uh, drink tickets. Drink tickets. And then upstairs is the uh, dressing room. Catering was back that way as well. First aid. It's good to know where it is. And uh, this is a big place. I, I, I hope the video is capturing just how gigantic 
uh, this place is. And you can hear the sounds of Will Hunt on the, uh, on the kick drum, sometimes other drums as well. And uh, this is the VIP section, the up here in the lawn chairs. Anyway, it's going to be uh, a sunshiny day. How the drum sets. Tom Keeper's drum set. The Vixen. I don't think those are actual animals. I don't think any animals were harmed in that. And then, of course, uh, Will drum. What they do is they rotate them in and out as the night goes on. Johnny, the smell of perfume coming from Vixen. Well, it's going to be better than what's going on in our other band. That's true, but they. They, they are giggling and having a good old time. It smells like Macy's in here. I think they're gonna have a pillow fight. I can only hope. Do you hear that? All right, here we are at dinner. Vixen is sound checking. Johnny, would you mind showing us what they serve Jesus. for dinner? That's gluten free. All right, well. Show would like that. Okay, that looks like a slice of lime and a bowl of steam. You skip this one. That's a veggie. Uh, uh, Never, never eat dairy cream sauce. Uh, gig. The way through you. Tortellini looks good. Spaghetti looks like someone's already had it all. That's, that's a fettuccine. This is veggie sauce. Good, Johnny. That looks like the sauce just the way your mama made it. And that's meat sauce, which looks good. So we're having pasta, chicken parm. Chicken parm. Whew, Johnny, looks good. Can we eat later? And then Johnny, look at the cakes. Johnny cakes. That's what they used to call you, right? Johnny cakes. Look at that. Too much stuff. And then there's a salad bar. I need something else, like a Coca-Cola or something. Yeah. Well, hey, look at that. Look up there, Johnny. Pee-wee. Yeah. Yeah. Still early. But those are the sweet sounds of Dixon. Did you, it wasn't me. It wasn't did you me. hang out at Ray but Lewis's apartment? And we so love Tom Keeper. We're so happy to be here with the <laughs> she, two of them. She today. says she's got some we secrets about you. Listen, I don't want to fall, I don't want to crawl, I've been living on the edge. He's serenading Come you <laughs> from the balcony. I'm serenading you from the balcony of love, rock love, rock of love. You should have came out there with us, we would have had you on the stage. Right here, man. You can do the high end. <laughs> no, I can't yes, sing, can. I can't sing like that yes, anymore. Are you out of your mind, yes, you woman? Out of your mind. Put her in a place. <laughs> You wanted to know the uh, schedule. Everyone likes to be organized. And we're gonna get ready. 20 minutes to our show time. Hi guys, nice job. It's great. You guys sounded great. All 
mad. disembark with us. Who is your friend? This is Bella. She does, I don't know what the fuck you do. She's just kind of here. Well, welcome. And, and, and keep young Sam out of trouble. He gets wild. I got X's on my hands, dog. Yeah. I can't Look at you guys. Out. Both have X's, right? All right. Yeah. Let's get you. I think it's cooler. I don't drink. I want an X. Here, I'll rub mine on you. Yeah, I, I'm pretty straight edge, I think. Oh, no, you can't, uh, uh, I can't say it on camera, but... No, you can. Too. Straight edge means you can't uh, have sexual relations, though, right? No, you gotta do it on this side. I don't, I don't, I don't when I, I, drugs and alcohol. I heard originally it was drinking and no drugs. That's fine. I don't do either okay. of those. But they, they're supposed to, you can't be banging if you... I think that's just, like, really devout Christian. Serious. No, well, no, but there's a band called Minor Threat. Oh, and they... Oh, they're with Christian and Parasite. But they, oh, didn't, they didn't believe... You can't... You're not supposed to engage. You guys ready to lay it down? Let's go! Oh, let me down, baby. Oh. We have arachnophobia. We don't want to fuck with that. And that's not the only one. There's a, another one right there. These are some big fucking spiders. As uh, Robert Smith says, Spider-Man is having me for dinner tonight. And I, I, I'm not messing with you. Look at they know better. <laughs> Kids, you better leave it, leave it to the old man. Leave you a spot. Leave it to the old man. You remember this one, right? You know? Got that post down, you got your heart broke. And it hurt real bad. Until you woke up one day, you thought about what that person did to you. And then you said, fuck you, I am nobody's fool, right? Gypsy Road is going to take us home. 
We got a ride waiting for us, me, Johnny, and Eric are the last three uh, here. The last of the three Mohicans. So, uh, just woke up, uh, and the news was that our flight has been canceled, and uh, that sucks. So, we had a uh, 3 o'clock flight, we were going to JFK, anyway, flight's canceled, we're going to have to spend the night here in Ithaca, this is pretty much a nightmare, and uh, I don't know, it's, it's me, Stephen. And, uh, and me, Stephen, yeah. and Johnny, and uh, yeah. All right, well, I'll hold on. Uh, anyway, so me, Johnny, and Stephen, flight's canceled. We're gonna spend another night in this hotel. But there's a storm, uh, a storm on the way, which doesn't make things any better. So, Johnny, you, uh, I'm broadcasting, Johnny. I was in midstream. Oh, well, it's all right. Um, anyway, we're stuck here, Johnny. What? We're stuck here in Ithaca, New York. Yeah, I know. Yeah. The, the audience. The audience doesn't know. You you drink while you pee? Do we need a... <laughs> so what's this 540... 540... I can't do this on video. Not How's color? color? Good see. <laughs> anyway, so we uh, we're, we're stranded. Yeah, these beds are very hard. I the problem with the, the thing is I like soft beds, but if you get too soft of a bed, then your back up here hurts, not your lower back. Well, your lower back too. So you need a combination mattress, which is called a hybrid. That's what I have. <laughs> Why is that funny? I, I have a hybrid mattress. Mm -hmm. Much like a Prius. You're on this bed again today. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't, he has his own, but. <laughs> Lame. Uh, we're, we're stranded, so Johnny. I'll tell you, you just got in. We're stranded. Go home. Yeah, we're going to be sitting here. So we missed our flight and we ran. Introduce yourselves. Hey, I'm Travis. Travis. I'm and me, okay, so you guys ran to Steven in the lobby this morning, and he, and he made me get a box set for you. But uh, anyway, you guys were on your way to Mark Twain's grave, and I was so excited that I wanted to go too. And, uh, and I ran to catch up with you guys, and we found out the graveyard is closed. How did close the graveyard? Thank you, Mia. How did they close a graveyard? And so uh, uh, we're thinking about jumping the fence. But anyway, we're... They're, they're here in Ithaca because they're going to go to Dorney Park tomorrow, right? That's right. That's nice. That's a great amusement park on the East Coast. But the uh, but me and Johnny and Steven, we're just stranded here with nothing to do. Yeah. And so Mark Twain's grave would have been a great uh, thing. So if you're watching right now, we'll put a picture of Mark Twain's grave here, and then you can pretend uh, that we saw it. But anyway, I'm glad that you guys uh, were able to participate in this video. And we so uh, Steven said he took care of our rooms, uh, but the keys don't work. So not only, I mean, uh, we're really screwed. This, this is going to be a long day, an extra day in Ithaca. I don't know what it's working on. Hi, how are you? How are you? Yeah, right. even better. Our room got tight out. Yeah. Oh, you gotta go over get up. Yeah, all right. Johnny, we met these nice strangers here, and they said they want to take us to a cemetery. Mm -hmm. I think we should go. Let's go get ready. Come on, Johnny. We'll go visit the grave of Mark Twain. You can sit in the car seat with the kid. Come on, let's go, Johnny. Put on your good clothes. We're off to the cemetery. We were told that the uh, cemetery that has Mark Twain was closed, but it's not. And so these nice people are coming to pick us up. And Johnny's got to put on his good outfit. Come on, Johnny, let's go. Oh my God. <laughs> He's going to miss all the fun. All right, so if you're following still, we're stuck here you know, Big Flats or Horse Heads or Ithaca. And uh, we met a nice family and they were uh, uh, volunteering to bring us to uh, <laughs> a grave. Uh, hopefully not ours. But anyway, we're gonna go to see Mark Twain. Well, I'm gonna go. Johnny is saying he's not gonna go. I'm gonna see Mark Twain's grave if it's the last thing I do. So you're gonna wanna watch this one. Mark Twain, 
country, Twain gravesite. This is just on the street. We're not even in the cemetery. How crazy. Who knew on a day that I thought I was going to be stranded in a hotel, we get to see something cool. So this is the Woodlawn Cemetery, and this is where uh, Mark Twain was buried. And this is also where Hal Roach was buried, for a, a creator of the Little Rascals and the uh, Laurel and Hardy movies. He lived to be a hundred, uh, but he grew up in this area. This is Elmira, New York, and uh, very old cemetery. And uh, online it said it was closed, but it was not closed. And look at this old building here. I can't guarantee it, but I would bet Mark Twain had his funeral there. Anyway, this is all on a quiet street. And some of these people, they have homes that are right behind it. They have basketball courts in the cemetery. Their backyard that is the cemetery. Seems like a strange place to uh, raise a family. It's a nice cemetery. Mark Twain, next right. They, they, they really do, they give you detail. Mark Twain, next left. So we're here. We're not exactly sure which one it is, right? You guys know? Oh, that like see the sign that says Mark Twain. She's gonna lead the way. Probably that big one down there, right? It's gotta be this one. Let's take a look here. What does this say? Oh yeah, here's some biographical information. Samuel Clemens died in Redding, Connecticut. Buried in Elmira, New York. I'm not sure why he's buried here, but I'm sure there's some reading information about that. Uh, all right. <laughs> it must be this one. It's gotta be that one. There it is, Mark Twain. Okay. See, it's interesting. Why is there pennies here? That's uh, like you show uh, respect for visiting somebody. That's his actual grave. I don't know how they got him under there, but. Because that's his real name, Samuel Clemens. Look, how crazy. And I guess the rest of the family is here too. This one's ashes. Were they cremating people in, in 1910 or whatever year he died? I don't think so. I didn't think so either. Paul Clemens uh, family plot. What year was it? No description. Yeah, 1910. Well, here's the uh, the monument, right? And uh, you're ready for your big TV debut. You got your sunglasses on. <laughs> you're ready for Hollywood. All right, so that's the this, and then right over here, see that right there? Pretty crazy, huh? We notice here that uh, this, this guy died, 1816 to 1899. The name is Arnott. The mall is also Arnott. So this might be Mr. Arnott of the Arnott Mall. <laughs> Who knows? All right, Hal Roach right here. And Hal Roach is legendary for uh, the Little Rascals, our gang. And he's also legendary for uh, the Oliver Hardy and Stan Laurel, or Laurel and Hardy movies. And uh, he lived to be 100 years old. This is where he grew up. He was buried. Uh, he died in, in Beverly Hills, but he was brought back here to the home he grew up in. And uh, he was 100 years old. He outlived uh, all those little rascal kids. 1892 to 1992. Gloomy day here in uh, Elmira, New York. I think that's where we are, right? Yes, Elmira. <laughs> This uh, cemetery, they 
they show respect to their famous um, interrents because everywhere you go, they have signs. There's a lot of Civil War people buried here. Uh, Mark Twain and Hal Rocha will be the names that I recognize the most, but uh, you can see this is a beautiful old cemetery. Imagine living in these houses right here. Your backyard is literally uh, the cemetery. All right, this is uh, Elmira College. That's where we are. This is an old campus, and uh, Mark Twain's study was moved onto this campus from some uh, quarry farm. And uh, so we're walking across Elmira College right now. The Mark Twain study. Built on East Hill, 1874, given to Elmira College in 1952. He wrote Tom Sawyer and other novels in the study when summering in Elmira. So listen to that. So we're gonna see the spot right now where uh, he wrote Tom Sawyer. And uh, it wasn't actually here, but it was in this study that's been moved, uh, donated to the college. And they do have an exhibit inside of, uh, and here's some information uh, that uh, you guys can read, uh, pause this and read at your own time. And uh, here we go, going up to the study where Tom Sawyer was written. It looks uh, exactly the same. If I have any energy, I put in a picture right now of what it looked like uh, then. And the, okay, so the Mark Twain study has been placed in the National Register of Historic Places. Uh, naturally, how crazy. And so it's not open today, but uh, you can kind of see in there. Uh, I see a broom. And there's some table type things. All right, I guess this is his wife. Yeah, class of 1864, wife of Mark Twain. Oh, cool. And I'm assuming that uh, this would be Mark Twain right here. This is the uh, Seven Arts or the Seven Dwarfs. I'm not sure. Uh, it's raining, just so you know. It is raining. There it is. Mark Twain, Roughing It, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, The Prince and the Pauper, A Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court, Life of the Mississippi, A Tramp Abroad. I don't think he means Mike Tramp, but I could be wrong. Anyway, there he is. I just saw his grave. Beloved husband of Olivia. She went to school. This is Patty's pig. It was a pig that freely roamed the streets in the late 1800s. The prince in the walkway, a reminder of our city's vibrant history. Wow. I guess there's prints somewhere. Yeah. Oh, we got some Mark Twain quotes. Get your facts first and then distort them as much you can. Start with All right. A lot of history around here in the rain. We were talking about how you ended up stuck here and, and you were explaining that your tire, you need a new tire. You need a new tire and we're going to get the tire fixed and go down to... Dorney Park. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have a day at the amusement park, and then we'll uh, head back home to Canada. And uh, hopefully everything goes well. The but car is okay enough to get to the cemetery, but it's not gonna get on any freeways. No, or we don't really. want to drive any uh, distance on it. So yeah, we're so making the most of it on a cemetery tour today. The random things that happen on the on a road trip. Yeah, and so and we and me and Stephen and Johnny we missed our flights, and so here we all are. Uh, at Mark Twain's study. Having a day in the rain. Having a day in the rain. Stopped off in uh, McDonald's to look for the Grimace Shake, but I think that they're no longer observing his birthday. I think Grimace is, it was gonna be fun. We were all gonna have a nice Grimace Shake, but I think his birthday is closed. I think they didn't change the sign. We're gonna have to inquire. We're gonna have to inquire about the Grimace birthday observation. Mark Twain and Grimace are both very legendary around here. So they didn't give us the Grimace shake and they said they weren't observing Grimace's birthday anymore, yet the bag is right there. Uh, but instead you got, was that Elemental? Yeah, you have to see the movie now. But anyway, they're not, even though a lot of the people here are dressed like Grimace. Uh, All right, we had uh, lunch at McDonald's. They've abolished the Grimace birthday celebration, but uh, it was still nice. And now uh, we've survived the rain. And now Mia's gonna have uh, push pops 
and Steven's gonna have smokes. We're gonna go buy uh, smokes, <laughs> smokes and push pops, a, a, a Elmira uh, tradition. Johnny, they canceled the flight, as you pointed out. Do you think you can get used to living in here? <laughs> you're, you're now a resident of uh, Horseheads. I tell you what, there's no uh, kids out there making noise, no fat guy on the balcony. You have a view of nothing. Well, future home with Johnny Monaco right here. We're screwed. So we've been having nothing but bad luck today. Our flight uh, this morning was canceled. Our flight tomorrow morning was canceled. These are flights from uh, Ithaca to JFK. Now we are stranded in this hotel, the uh, Overlook. I don't think we're ever going to get out. We're going to go to o Outback. Outback's right there. Johnny Monaco is right here. Uh, but anyway, we're, we're really screwed. We have no chance. The only thing we can do is get to JFK at 11 a.m., hoping that flight is not canceled. JFK is five hours from here by car. We are trying to hire someone um, to drive us, but we are, we're in trouble. Johnny, uh, this is much like most nights at home. You have a nice dinner at Outback, right? I don't go there anymore. What happened? Fucking. Like how? Just get the wrong order, or they overcook the steak, or they... Well, I mean... Shitty. They, 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 you go in there and the time's wrong, it's sitting, it's cold. You're I, fucking idiot. I think the quality will be better here. This is a, obviously a very sophisticated town, horse head. <clears throat> Are you going to order the horse head? <laughs> yeah. We could try to hitch. That was the mall that we went to the day. It's a beautiful night. Johnny, we can get a little game here. Is this like pickle ball or something? Bags. Bags, yeah, ball bags. That's not bad. No. We don't want to go to the takeaway. This place is gonna close. Anyway, we're this is we're really fucked. I hate to use expletives, but there's nothing else to say. Yeah, this is. That lady's face, she knew that we missed our flight. Which lady? The lady in the outfit in the tank. Yeah. And she gave me like a, like a feel bad for you. Yeah. Okay, here's the specials. Spade and neuter. What the hell? I don't think we have time for that. Oh, no. Yeah. Are you going to neuter me if I go? I don't know if, I don't, I don't think we have. still do that? I don't think we have time. Thank you, Johnny Monaco. <laughs> we have time to get neutered? No, there's no time for that. Oh, hello. Hi. Hi. Two of us can get neutered? Or spare. All right, we finished a uh, dinner. It was a hundred dollars here at Out Outback. I don't think it was that good. Not that. Anyway, uh, being on tour is just costing us money at this point. We were fortunate, though, uh, Johnny, where we now have a ride. A, a, they're going to a service is going to drive us from uh, Horseheads. That's here to uh, JFK Airport. It's a four-hour drive. We're going to leave here at five a.m. Will we make it? Stay tuned. We're stranded here at the Overlook Hotel in the uh, lobby. And uh, we're all just hanging out. We're the, only pe here. we're the only people here who are actually uh, uh, alive. Yeah. You made a good point. There's probably a picture somewhere that's 100 years old of Stephen uh, standing by the cappuccino. <laughs> Find something. Like this is 
And we got some quality TV. One of the things I think is interesting about Three's Company is it plays on the Logo channel, which is the gay and lesbian channel. But the only thing about this show that's uh, gay, besides Mr. Furley's outfit, is that Jack has to pretend to live in the building. Right, John? Yeah. Uh, you, you got it. I got it. I yeah. Mr. A lot of people prefer Mr. Roper, but there is a Mr. Furley uh, uh, thing. This is the episode where uh, Larry and Mr. Furley think Jack and the kids are moving out. And he's, they're nervous, so they're trying to get them to stay. And uh, we're just sitting here. Much like the Overlook Hotel, I don't think we're ever going to get to leave. It's like the Shining, look at this. Scatman and Crothers taking care of them. Oh, you want some? Oh, okay, thank you. This is like uh, The Shining. I don't really believe we're here. <laughs> the Shining. The Overlook Hotel. Uh, it's, it's crazy. We can't escape. Yeah, there's a picture of you on the wall. You've been here for... I know, right? ...hundred years. Here. You want some? Got a car. It's going to be here at 4.45 in the a.m. And uh, it's a strange day. If they've ever seen, it's been a very strange day. But... Hopefully, we're going to get out of here. What a strange day, right, here. Travis? Still yep. here. Uh, and you, you're here because of a tire problem. Your car right. had a, a tire. It needs a new tire for tomorrow. i going to order the tire. I'm going to spend an extra day. Starting to think that this is all some kind of weird, like, lost. Remember lost? It's like some kind of yeah. other thing. We, no one gets to leave this hotel. Yeah. None of this is real. So we could all be here again. What do you say, Johnny Monaco? Nothing? You speechless? I, 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 I just hope this is the better hotel. I think this is the better hotel. She the said hotel. earlier that she would rather hear an actual rat. <laughs> 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 right, Mia? Thank you. Yeah. And then I said that, like, you mean like Chuck E. Cheese, but you pointed out that Chuck E. Cheese is a mouse, right? Yeah. <laughs> Did you know that, Johnny? Thank you. I do know. Yeah. No. Yeah. What do you got? A lot of noise. I think oh, it's next great. to my room. Shut up! This room. Who's this is my that, room. You be that loud enough. This room is the racket. Fucking assholes. In this room. It's Johnny Monaco. It's a terrible New York accent. I can hear it. Yeah. I'm looking over. We'll see what happens next. I mean, I'm going to try to lay down for a while. All right. Can you, can you hear that? Bullshit. This is what this is the hell that is my life. This may be the worst travel day we've ever had. All the flights out of Ithaca to John F. Kennedy in New York City have been canceled. And it's, we've had two days of canceled flights. So now we're going to attempt. We have a car service coming and they are going to drive us. Uh, very expensive, by the way, very expensive. They're gonna drive us four hours to New York City, where we hope to get on our flight. Uh, right now, it's about 3.30 in the morning, and uh, car service will be here at 4.45 to drive us from uh, Big Flats or Horsehead, New York, to uh, uh, John F. Kennedy, that's in Queens and uh, it's a four hour drive. Hopefully from there, our flight from JFK will go to Las Vegas. I I've chosen not to sleep. Uh, I mean, I don't know if I choose, I just couldn't sleep and it's getting later and later. And at this point, I might as well just be packed and ready um, to go, which is the case. So stressful day ahead, long day ahead. We're supposed to be home already. It is uh, gonna be Monday morning Hope to get in Monday night. On Thursday, we uh, hit the road again for New Mexico. Uh, so there's really no time. A lot of stuff that needs to get done. Back in the day, they'd put a Bible next to the bed. I'm surprised to see that that's still going on. But now, 
Uh, you get the Book of Mormon. I think this was uh, written by Trey Parker and Matt Stone. And then a, uh, oh, a pristine copy of the Holy Bible. But if you look down there, there is a sharp pin. Uh, I didn't plan this. I actually didn't know. I'm not going to touch it. But somebody who's going to attempt to read the Bible or uh, South Park Book of Mormon, they're in trouble. I hope you, you that was informative. Well, 4.35, car is supposed to be at 4.45. When I left this TV on, this is logo, we were watching uh, Three's Company. I see they left the channel on, which is nice, and right now, a little bewitched, why not? Looks like it's raining outside. Uh, I like this place. This is the courtyard by Marriott in uh, Horseheads. Horseheads, New York. Stephen is at the furthest room, closest to the smoking egg. A, uh, a big concern is what size vehicle they send. Now, I know there's only three of us, but it's a long drive. Now, I've seen a car pull up. Oh. You can't see it, but it looks all right. I might hurt it. All right, raining outside, but uh, we're getting closer. My Monica's here. And uh, it's a long way uh, to the top if you want to rock and roll, but um, almost 5 a.m. Happy to go back to Vegas where it doesn't rain and not get my My parents and I would go to the Catskill Mountains, go to the Catskill Game Farm. Uh, uh. Yeah. When I was uh, telling Johnny, when I was a kid, my parents would bring me here. They had a oh, yeah. place called the. Uh, Catskill Game Farm. They have animals running all over. And, uh, yeah. And then you had a ton of comedians, you know, start out doing uh, the comedy of the Catskills. Rip Van Winkle. JFK Airport with no time to spare. And they told us to get in the special line for pre-check. Uh, Ethan doesn't have pre-check, so now we're waiting to see what happens. A lot of drama. We might not make it. So I think we will, but it's more exciting to say we might not. Now we are, we're at the need help section because they think Johnny and I's tickets are invalid. So we're trying to figure out if we can get on the plane. Definitely a mess. Worst one ever. Mm -hmm. If I make it on the plane, I will be the last person. So far, Steven's gotten on. Johnny's gotten on. Who knows? All remaining customers may now board through the general boarding lane for flight 991 to Las Vegas. One of the worst experiences. Northern Airlines suck, but Delta is climbing the list now. High drama. Well, I did get a uh, last second ticket and they gave someone a volunteer to give them a lot of money. I sort of wish I would have stayed, went to my mother's house and took all the uh, free money, but it wasn't offered to me. And unfortunately, I got to get back home. But everyone's miserable. Uh, Stephen's miserable. Johnny's miserable. The world is miserable. Delta is miserable. I think it's a two hour walk to get to the point. Anyway. Uh, bullshit trip.